Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a sticker haul video. I usually would say sticker slash stationery haul but this time I actually didn't buy any washi which is kind of crazy. I feel like I definitely have enough washi as of now and I think that's kind of the main reason why as well as I don't think Simply Gilded which is where I get pretty much all of my washi has had many releases. I could be wrong though but um, I do have quite a bit of packages here to share with you guys and i'm going to go ahead and just get started it doesn't look like too many just because i have taken some out of the packaging so let's go ahead and get started up, let me start this kit that i purchased from my newest addiction i purchased this back i believe last month when i got my april monthly kit now you guys didn't get to see that video because i never got um, to filming it just because this package did get lost in the mail and to be honest I think my other package which has my May and June monthly kits I think it's lost but I just decided to get this which this kit actually has the same colors as that April monthly kit so the name of this kit is called Shikito which I think is so cute um, I love the purple and all of this I definitely wanted to use this for April and I'm so glad that I'm hauling it now because I'm just remembering it I feel like I always like to keep all of the stickers that I bought in like a pile and then once a month I like to make these videos so I'm glad that I'm now hauling this this is how the full boxes page looks They're in two little labels this is the bottom washi and this is if you guys are wondering foiled it has rose gold foil you have your date covers some extra little headers in there and then this is the half boxes and quarter boxes page as well as so you get some deco here and some bow checklists that is how this kit looks i did get i believe the mini kit so this comes with three pages and what i really like about this is that it actually also comes with some date dots and this is my little freebie so that is what i got for my newest addiction Next up, I want to move along to a shop that I actually haven't bought from in a while. I feel like I've bought her printables before, I want to say. But this is AshleyAnnLaz.com and I believe she has two Instagrams. One is AshleyAnnLaz and the other one is Ashley's To-Do List. So I did get a couple of her Animal Crossing stickers because if you guys don't know this, she hand draws them herself and I think that's just so cool. So as you guys know, I have been very, very into Animal Crossing and although I wish I had more time to play it the past few days, I still definitely want to get back into it because <laughs> look at these little die cuts. They're so cute. <gasps> That's so cute. I got a little deco sheet full of Animal Crossing items. I also got this Animal Crossing inspired switch just to kind of mark whenever I play Animal Crossing. And then I did get a regular Switch because aside from Animal Crossing, I like to play other things like Super Mario, Mario Party, and stuff like that. So these are really cute. I think so far I've only been using some Switch stickers from Box and Pip, but you guys will soon see that I got a ton more from different shops. So yeah, I also went ahead and picked up an Animal Crossing kit from her. I want to say that I individually picked these sheets a la carte instead of the full mini kit or full kit so i did pick up a couple of sheets i picked up the ec30 sheet ec29 ec27 and ec32 i don't know if that helps you guys in any sort of way but these are the sheets that i thought that i would use so this one comes with three full boxes three um ombre heart checklists some to do and odds and ends little headers as well as some little quarter boxes here then the other page comes with even more full boxes, some today headers, and the rest of the missing ombre heart checklists. This other page has a bunch of just scripts and icons, a ton of these labels, some more half boxes, a weekly ombre, some habit trackers, three heart checklists, and a weekend banner. And then of course I could not forget my date covers as well as bottom washi, which I think this is so cute. So that's the kit that I have. I want to say that this is matte paper. I don't think this is premium matte. But I just think her artwork is so cute. And I've always mentioned this, but like I wish I could draw. So every time I see um, shops that hand draw all their stuff, just makes me want to support them that much more. So that is what I got from Ashley Ann Laz. 
Next up, let's move on to another new shop to me, which is Harriet Wright Designs. She was having, I believe, a $2 Tuesday of some sort. I decided to pick up a couple of different icons, and you guys will see that this is something that I use all the time, so I'm very excited to show you guys. So as you guys know, I've been really into using foiled icons, so I did get some of these meal icons, and I got them in hollow, silver rose gold and gold and I love how it has um, the little bow on the side there and these are all in clear paper if you guys are wondering and then I went ahead and also picked up this sort of desk scene with a little computer which is essentially where I'm at at all times I'm always working on something on my computer or around my office space um, so I got those two in gold rose gold silver and hollow so those are the two sets of icons that I got in all of the four foils. Really excited about these actually. Um, next up, I have quite a few things actually from Scribble Prints Co. So let's go ahead and dig into this. The first order that I've made from Scribble Prints Co. was about a month ago I want to say and it was to get this kit. This was one of her new summer kits. I just love every single box. It kind of has a vintage retro -y vibe which I'm all about so let me show you guys. Every time I purchase kits from SPC I do end up picking up the mini kits and that's usually enough for me to complete a full weekly spread. This kit is called Sweet Summer. This is a little munchkin freebie you got. This is how the full boxes page looks. So pretty. I love that. Definitely summer vibes. You have this page that has your headers, little things, quarter boxes, fancy labels, and half boxes. You have your sidebar kind of page with your weekly ombres, habit trackers. I love to use these heart checklists and some icons. This is deco page. I love how she always includes deco in all of her kits, among other things. I really actually like the colors of this. It's very different than any kits that I have as of now. And I love how she added that kind of like tangerine orange color. And then last but not least, this is how the bottom washi and date covers page looks. So I did pick that up. Really excited. I'm thinking I'll end up using this in June. Maybe before I move into my Erin Condren. In that same order, I also got one of these Misfit rack bags, which are essentially just, I believe, freebies. Oh, I also got a couple of scripts. Totally forgot about that. Okay, so I did end up picking up the glitter header add-on for the kit. I love to use these when I'm planning in the vertical layout. And then this was the time where I um, was checking in to see which foiled scripts I was missing or which one I needed to restock on. So I did get a couple of those. First off, this was the little freebie I got. Cute. And then I also got Kirsten's freebie. I always end up using her code whenever I purchase from SPC. I also went ahead and got one of these Icon hollow foiled sheets. I think this was a foil that I was missing from all the ones that I have. So I went ahead and picked that up. I also got some of her um, edit and upload and I got that in hollow, rose gold, silver, and gold. I do like to go through these and use them on my spreads if you guys know me. I also went ahead and picked up a hollow foiled FaceTime script. I use these pretty much every single week and then last but not least something that I've been wanting to do April but I definitely will have to just do in May would be to declutter so I did get these foiled declutter scripts and all of the different foils really excited to actually start decluttering I plan on making videos just because my desk that I have the one that I'm, I'm on right now still has a bunch of makeup from like a year or two ago if not more so definitely need to declutter that and now for the misfit rack bag that i got it has some of these family full boxes and i think yeah all of these actually correlate together so i could make a whole spread out of this which i think it's so cool how spc does this and i love these colors love that we have some little things some washi and some fancy labels and then the decos page I also got two of these sheets, which I believe were from a wiggle. This has a pink background with gold foil, so we have the icons and also the bow headers. 
I also got one of these blonde little scribblers with the money. <laughs> That's cute. And then last but not least, I got these gold foiled wedding related icons, which I don't know anybody that's getting married anytime soon, but I will definitely be saving until somebody does. And then my second order from SBC was a recent one where I got two kits that I'm so excited about. If you guys know what I've been doing the past couple of weeks, with the exception of last week, I actually didn't stream on Twitch, but I've been streaming on a platform called Twitch. I always have a link for that down below if you guys want to join me. I typically go on there on Tuesdays and Thursday evenings. So let's start with the foils that I have. This is a little foil freebie. I believe these are Andrea Munchkins. I also went ahead and restocked on my gold FaceTime scripts because I noticed that I've used these so much whenever there's gold foil in one of my spreads. I also went ahead and repurchased these gold foiled icons. I like to be stocked up on these just because I do use them every week. And then once again, I did get another of these Kirsten freebies, this time in rose gold. I love how they switch it up because now I have gold and rose gold. For the kit, I ended up getting this kit, which is so stinking beautiful. It is kind of like a stay at home with Animal Crossing in there kind of kit. And I love it. It's called Relax. I love the neutral colors on this. And I especially love that the girl in the FaceTime call has red hair because I can totally relate to that. And I'm trying to make myself think that that's me. So these are the full boxes. This is the deco page. Oh, I love all the neutral colors and Animal Crossing, of course. You have your weekly ombres, habit trackers, icons, all of that good stuff. And then the bottom washi and your actual full box and date covers. And this came with an extra kind of double box scene. I like that. It's cute. That you could possibly put in your sidebar. And then for this collection, I did get the add-on glitter headers as well as the add-on labels. And then next, I got this other kit, and it is this sort of like streamer kind of kit. I actually really love it just because um, it not only has the Switch here, which I've been playing quite a ton recently, but it, I also ended up getting the Fashion Girl add-ons, which has a girl that has red hair so how perfect is that and how could i not pick that up right so i'm probably going to switch this girl up for this red haired one whenever i use this i also really love how all these colors are very bright kind of like electric kind of colors love that so much i actually i love this keyboard with the rainbow lights look at those colors how cute are those colors oh, your deco weekend banner Oh, so bright and so pretty like I wouldn't typically go for these kinds of colors and that's the reason why I like this kit so much and it has kind of that rainbow glitter around the quarter boxes and over here two of you guys can tell so pretty oh, and look at this paint splatter bottom washi like so cute so stinking cute so that is what I got from this kit like I mentioned I got the fashion girl add-on the glitter header add-on and then the label sampler add-on aside from these i believe this was the week that she came out with her kind of like multicolor collection although this is just one color which i actually still do like and it is all marble so i thought that i would pick all of these up because i could potentially in the future match it to a lot of my kits um, since it does have that neutral kind of vibe so this is what i got from that um, kind of collection so i got the marble headers the marble um, fancy labels, the marble half boxes, quarter boxes, bottom washi, and date covers. So I thought that I could, even if I didn't use a whole kit with this, that I could use these by themselves. So those were my orders from Scribble Prince Co. Moving on to very cute designs. I haven't purchased from her in quite a little bit and she has changed a bit of like the formatting of her sheets. But the main reason that I purchased from her this time was because I had just run out of the little Target bags that I like to use whenever I mark Target runs in my planner. So these are the two little freebies that I got. One of these die cuts, so cute. And some of these Alice in Wonderland inspired stickers. 
so she did have to make a custom listing for me because she no longer has the listing up on her Etsy shop but she was nice enough to make that custom listing for me so I ended up picking up how many one two three four Target bag stickers because I know that I'll eventually use them up I've used these time and time again so I thought that I would just cover all my bases and just get four of those, which might have been a little bit ex excessive, but now I'm covered. I also went ahead and got these Kawaii Gaming stickers. I thought that I could also use these to mark whenever I'd stream on Twitch. So I got those. And I also, once again, got Switch stickers. These actually look exactly like my Switch. And then last but not least, I got these little cutting machines which I believe I have a few of them left and it's something that I like to use in my planner whenever I work on orders. So that was my small order from Very Cute Designs. Next up let's move on with let's actually move on with Two Little Bees. I have two orders from Two Little Bees and I'm so excited okay so let's start with the first one that i made and you guys are going to see a big animal crossing theme if you guys have not already because that's just what has been in not only for me but in the planner community and everybody has been obsessed with it you guys have probably heard all about it by now on this first order i got a couple of freebies so let me start with those first off i got this cute animal crossing switch sticker die cut freebie I'm actually really excited. I'm going to put this in my planner. That's cute. Okay, so I got one of those. I also got this freebie that was in collaboration with Rose Colored Days, which is all about leopard print, which you guys know I'm obsessed with. And this was the other freebie that I got, which I think these go together. Love, love this. And it actually um, was, I believe, a sneak to a kit that I will be hauling in a second too which I'm so excited about. I also went ahead and got some of her little bee kits, which are the smaller four-page mini kits she has in her shop. I love to use these, like I've mentioned, in my A6 planner. Although there really hasn't been much to plan, and it's, for me, all been pretty functional. I do like to plan in there every now and again. So this was, I wish I had the name of this, but it was kind of like the work-at-home um, sort of kit. I love the colors that you chose for this. Look at how pretty it has like pink and like a purpley mauve color. This is the fourth page with the header, some half boxes and quarter boxes. And I love how she has habit trackers and some flags and deco. So that's how the two little bee kits look. And then I also went ahead and picked up her Animal Crossing inspired kit that I was like, you know what? If Two Little Bees has a little bee kit for it, I'm going to pick it up. And she did. So this is how the full box pages look. I love the little cloud planner there. I love how it has bottom washi too. Your headers, half boxes, and your habit trackers. Oh, look at this page. Look at the colors. They're so pretty. And then I also went ahead and picked up the Animal Crossing deco sheet. And then for her regular sized mini kits, I picked up this one, which I think, I wish I knew what the name of this was. But I typically get her premium matte kits, but I believe this time around I picked up um, her regular matte one. So this is how all the full boxes looks. It's basically a cozy at home kind of scene, which I definitely will be using soon. And it obviously reflects what everybody's going through. You even have your little hand sanitizer and disinfecting wipes there. So the full boxes are here. Then you have your today to do and bow headers with a ton of flags and deco. This is the sidebar sort of page that also comes with checklists, some icons, half boxes, and other quarter boxes. And then last but not least, you have your date covers, your bottom washi, and some extra washi strips. And then for my second order from Two Little Bees, I'm so excited about this kit. I actually mentioned this kit on my Instagram story because I was so, so obsessed with it when I saw it in her shop. This is a little free die cut we got, <laughs> which is so relatable nowadays. I really like both of these kits. I think they're both so beautiful. And let's go ahead and I guess start with this one. So this was that stay at home kind of kit that I showed you guys. It's a little bee kit, but I ended up getting it in the bigger version, which did have, I believe, different colors. I think she did end up changing the colors herself. I love the kind of looks inspiration behind it. So these are the full boxes. 
once again, your headers, flags, and deco pieces page. So beautiful, right? And I love how this has marble, which I could also pull in my marble kind of multicolor sheets from SBC. And this is the bottom washi, which if you guys have seen my latest Nutris collection in my shop, you guys know that I do have this washi strip as an option. So, so cute. Love that so much. And then with that, since you guys know that I'm not a blonde, I went ahead and picked up, I think I picked this up, or maybe, or maybe it came with the kit. I'm not 100% sure now, but with the two other alternative rolls. This one, okay, I'm going to say she has brown hair, but it almost looks kind of red. So I'm going to say that she has red hair. <laughs> so that is going to look really cute, I think, in my planner. And then the other kit, which I was so obsessed with, which um, goes along with the freebie that I received in my last order, was this eat sleep craft repeat leopard kit i love that it not only has a bunch of crafting things but also has like the palette and the lipstick i love that so much and i love how it's full of pink and leopard like i feel like this is me in a kit um so these are the alternative full boxes that she gave us so i have quite a bit of full boxes here to work with this is oh i love these leopard headers so cute more leopard okay yeah I love this kit and look at this bottom washi wow just wow so that was what I got from two little bees yeah I think that's all that I have so excited to use this in my planner next up I went ahead and purchased something from crafts by Tally. I have been wanting to get her at stay at home sheets and I thought that I purchased these in all the four foils but I could be wrong because I only I think got the silver one this is the little freebie that I got and this is the stay at home sheet I love this it's so cute it has a bunch of just activities that you can do at home which I think it's genius and then I picked up this kit called serenity and although I'm probably not gonna look like this girl here because I don't have a bathtub like that I still wanted to get it and I thought it would be perfect with um the June monthly color I just thought it would look pretty I love her hair like oh, I wish I also love the little accents of silver foil like the little bubbles in the full boxes this is how the half boxes there's a ton of flags and some washi there's also this page which has a bunch of sidebar items some icons and some scripts and all of this is foiled once again and then last but not least look at this bottom washi these bobby pins are everything so cute and once again i love the neutral um colors in this as well so that is what i got from crafts by tawi moving on to paper muse crafts i got this kit from paper muse crafts after kiera from in kiera's planner on instagram talked about it i just thought it was such a pretty kit it's called sherbert and the colors definitely resemble that i also really love the florals in this and how much foiling Oh, look at that how pretty is that the quote in here just says i must have flowers always and always and of course i went ahead and picked up the bow headers that match with the kids colors and this was my little sampler which is just on silver foil so this is how her kids look i feel like this looks so much better in person everything always looks so much better in person but that is that this is the bottom washi with a ton of foiling today to do headers as well as you have a bunch of like layering flags in there this is the half boxes page so pretty so so pretty and this is the page that has the date covers and the sidebar boxes some bow checklists layering circles and some icons i actually did use this last time i planned with a paper muse crafts kit so that is what i got from paper muse crafts super excited i might end up using this i'm debating because i should have probably probably made a haul for these a long time ago but i might use this for this week then next up i made a small order from simply watercolor co i went ahead and picked up a couple of her two large tuesday sheets as well as i got a 
mini kit grab bag, I want to say. I always mention this, but I love when shops come out with kind of like kit grab bags or like oopsie or overstock. Um, grab bags and so I guess I'll go ahead and start with that. So this was the kit that I got from a grab bag from Subway Watercolor Co. And as you guys can see it's very kind of sailor kind of vibes and I actually really like that and I think I will definitely be using this in maybe July for like summer. So these boxes do have um, gold foiling in them. So it comes with the full boxes page, checkbox page, and then both of these are on glossy paper and this is matte which just comes with some sidebar pieces and some half boxes so i think i could do with all of these items i might just have to end up adding maybe like a washi from like simply gilded but i do think i will be able to use this this summer coming up aside from that i also went ahead and picked up some of these which i've seen a ton of people use these are her um bow washi half boxes and they are on gold foil. I just thought that it would be nice to have in my collection and I could use it every now and again. This was my little freebie by the way that I got. And then the $2 Tuesday items that I purchased were of course her Switch stickers, which I like these a lot. They're, I think these are my only foiled Switch stickers that I have and I love how it has a little bow in the middle. So I got those and of course gold, rose gold, silver, and hollow. I feel like I'm really stocked up on Switch stickers now, don't you guys think? Next up, I made my very first order from The Giving Girl. I'm really excited, and the reason why I purchased from her this time, I'd actually been following her, I think, on Instagram for quite a while, but she recently came out with a leopard-themed kit, which you guys know I'm all about leopard, and I thought it was just the prettiest thing. I love how she packages her orders this envelope and this did come with two freebies so we have a washi card oh that's so cute and one of these samplers with two boxes and a couple of these foiled bows which i think are a popular item in her shop and then for the kit that i picked up is called glamour and wait until you see these full boxes guys Look at how pretty this kit is. As soon as I saw the, not only the leopard, but the red rose and the red lipstick, I was all in this. Um, although I don't necessarily, like, let's say, love the little ballerina, I think she's still cute and it adds to the red to the whole kit, which I love. I think this is another one of those kits where I'm like, wow, this is definitely me. So, love that this also does have gold foil as you guys can see i've been really into foiled kits so this is the full boxes page and at the bottom you have a couple of like quarter boxes that's cute oh, look at this this is the bottom washi date covers some to-do headers and a couple of icons that you guys can see right there you also get your path boxes page and some of these checklists. Look at these. These are so cute. And then this would be the rest of your functional items, your weekly box, and your habit trackers. The first sheet that it comes with is this foil sheet, which is once again on gold foil. I love everything that this comes with so amazing and i know that even if i don't use it for the week that i use this kit in i will definitely eventually use it up so that's cute and then it does come with some foiled icons which have um, the same background colors as the kit does so that was my order from the giving girl super super happy about it i love everything and i definitely recommend her shop so go check her out if you guys have not and tell her I sent you even though she doesn't even know who I am but yeah that's what I got from the giving girl and then last but not least to end this haul I got something from paper and milk I haven't bought something from paper and milk in quite a few months and I always can stress how cute her packaging is she does like to write out your name in here and I just think it's so cute so I'm probably gonna keep this again like I've kept the other one <laughs> This is the freebie that I got with my order, which just has this little burning marshmallow, um, which says this is fine. I actually, do I have this sheet? I feel like I do. You have little moral readings, some utensils, a burger, and some popcorn. These are the sheets that I ended up getting, and I think she switched up her paper. I believe she did, because it, 
I believe she used to have matte paper. And now this is kind of, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the um, Wonton in a Million paper. If anybody knows what kind of paper this is, let me know because I'm kind of lost. Yeah, look, I have some paper and milk older stickers. And these are definitely on my paper. Wow, I didn't know she had made that change. Maybe she did mention it when she reopened. I'm not sure. But like you guys see here, I ended up getting some Switch controller stickers to once again mark whenever I play on my Switch. I got some of these iced coffees. I love how she draws everything. I just think it's so cute. And although I haven't been drinking much iced coffee, I'm sure that once this heat starts hitting every single day, which it already has been a little bit here in Southern California, I'll be sure to drink and use these in my planner. I also got these neutral laptops for all the neutral spreads I'll be having in my planner. And then last but not least, I got some of these Maru, Maru and Friends little sticker sheet. Like I mentioned, I love to play Mario games on my Switch and I thought this would be perfect too. I don't know, either mark Super Mario or even Mario Kart. So with that being said, that is pretty much all that I have for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already. And hopefully I will get to see you all on my next video. Bye guys.